You, like I, I've said um, after the UNH game, I really thought that was a that was like an old American East game with uh, like Bray and Jay Wright and, and Billy Harry and all those great teams back in the day that just you just fight and you fight and you grind it out. There's a couple scuffles here and there, and you know it was it was a, it was a shame there has to be a loser because they played so hard. It was unfortunate, you know, career fouls out of the game under those circumstances. But that, that was a battle, and uh, it was great to be a part of, and both teams deserve a lot of credit for competing. And uh, there's, no easy, there's no easy games in this league. There's no easy game. Every game we've been a part of has been a, a single-digit uh, lead or coming from behind or, and, and just battling and kids playing hard. There's, there's great coaches in this league, and uh, I'm, I'm, I'm happy to be a part of it. You know, this is a, a BU to Binghamton team. Excuse me, that was picked for last in the league, and you know, take preseason polls for whatever you know, think they're worth. But uh, certainly, have exceeded expectations this part to this point. I mean, you, you you're not at all surprised with the way they played out there today. Not at all. I, I told them that they have a mentality of a survivor, of uh, us against the world, and it's very tough to play a team like that in their house. And I, you could, I can't even imagine if the students were here. I wouldn't even imagine a place like that. It would have mayhem in here. Um, you know, they play so hard, they compete. I saw them on film, uh, I saw them against LaSalle, and I knew, I knew how good they were. And um, trust me, they're not going anywhere. They're, they're a very talented bunch, and um, they play, they compete, and they play really hard. I thought Corey in particular tonight was, was just from start to finish really big for you. I mean, I know he's been one of your big guys all season in terms of production. Just describe his performance tonight. You know, he's, he's the calm in the storm. Right now, and, and every now and then he can he can get a little bit crazy, and, and that's okay because he's he's handling the ball for almost 40 minutes a game, and so he's going to have some turnovers. Um, that's because he's tired, and, and I got to get him out. I need, I need to do a better job of, of subbing him and getting him rest. But um, he had uh, again another tremendous floor game. He's very steady, uh, hit big shots, made some great plays, uh, played great defense. I, I mean, I can't say enough about a senior captain. He's doing it all for us right now. And on the flip side, uh, talk about Greer Wright's performance and, and how you felt when obviously he was going to be out of the game there for good with eight and change remaining. He is he's more than what I saw in film. He's better than that. He, he's a talent, and uh, he, he's really good. He had big shots. I mean, we, we took the lead in the second half. He put them right on their back, came back. And again, it's unfortunate he got in foul trouble. Because um, obviously, you know, we want to play a team full strength, but they they never gave up without him. It was still a two possession game without him. But he he is he's definitely one of the best players in this league. Uh, how did the did the officials to describe the scenario with that you know the double technicals there as to what happened? Any idea? What they just said there was some pushing and shoving. Two guys got technicals. You know, at, at that point, you just want to take care of your kids and make sure they don't do anything. That, that's not going to jeopardize them or our program, and, and that's the most important thing. So I really didn't say it. I just went after who I thought was arguing and talking the most and get everybody out of there. Hey, you um, yeah, the tough non-conference schedule then dropped the first game of Stony Brook in the conference. Your team's now won four straight. feel like you're kind of getting back on track here, so to speak, here. You know, it was, the, it was probably the best thing that happened to us, uh, to be honest with you. Uh, Stony Brook really really put it to us and uh, I think it was an eye-opening experience for our players and our team and, and even me especially me because uh, it's, it's not gonna be easy and this is all a journey and you got to compete every night and if you you come in think it's gonna be easy you're gonna get smoked and uh, we did we did and that starts with me and I gotta make sure that that's not gonna happen again Thanks. good Coach,